Что ж такое? Погоди. Смотри, фотики. Потом... Я пишу. Я тоже. Все, пишу. Все. That's the reason for that, actually, because we are 30 years older than you. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. But I know this song. Uh, songs. Um, sometimes, uh, do you want sometimes uh, to return back your popularity, which was uh, that time? I think we have a, a continuously a, a level that suits us very well, actually. But I don't mind if it goes up a little bit. Better up than down, always. Yeah. Like. But, but <laughs> now we really appreciate that we are in, uh, have a lot of concerts in Russia because we, we love Russia. Only yes. in Russia, so many concerts. No, 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 no we have them everywhere. But, but at that time, we didn't have concerts in Russia. Now we have concerts. In the 80s, in Russia. Russia was closed. Russia yes. was a white, yeah. white spot. White spot. Yeah, visit, visit, first visit to Russia was in, uh, I think, 2000. Um, 15 years ago, yes. yeah. Mm. That's true. Uh, in that time, in the 80s or 90s, uh, Sweden music was the, one of the most popular in the world. Uh, we know uh, Secret Service, Alba, Dr. Alban, uh, but now we don't have um, any Sweden musicians uh, which are uh, popular in your country now. Why this happened? Because of many reasons. The, the, the good Swedes, they moved out of Sweden and moved to LA and made hits there instead. That's one point. Of it. They will be American. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But who is it? Who is it? The name, please. Max Martin. Max Martin. Max Martin. Oh. For Max instance. Martin. But we are we are still here, mm -hmm. and we have our own sick service channel on YouTube now. We are getting, getting more, more and more modern. Mm -hmm. So sick service channel on YouTube. Listen to it. I look at it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about uh, popular music, uh, which popular now? I mean, Billie Eilish and another very popular person. Yeah, I like Billie Eilish. She, she's uh, unique and she's got her own style, a kind of dark yeah, style that appeals to a lot of uh, people. I think mm -hmm. so. And uh, up north. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tim, what do you think about uh, this uh, popular uh, artist? Because you're a composer, you can tell us about uh, this music, modern music. In my opinion, the best music was written in the 80s. Still, 70s, 60s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and maybe the 90s too. Now, I don't think it's so much... It's not only because I'm getting older, but it's because uh, even the young people listen more to the 80s. Because uh, everything is so corporate these days. Yeah. Everything sounds the same. You can't. I mean, you can't even tell who's, you know, whose voice you're listening to on the radio. Who is this? I don't know. Never heard. You know, so you, you get like a, a, a two-week spot, and then you're gone. Mm. And then next one in. The next one in. You're out. Next one in. So and, it's, and, and, it's, it's not, and and it sounds like most of the female singers has something in in, in the nose. <laughs> like, well, it sounds like this. <laughs> I don't know if they do like this uh, on the microphone, but uh, they, and they don't spell any uh, letters. I mean, they no, they, yeah. I think I think uh, they they believe it's modern to sound like this, but I don't like it so much. Uh, do you know Russian uh, music uh, musician uh, musician group uh, which was popular in that time? I mean, in the nineties or in the eighties when you the only one there? I know is Ada Pugacheva. Oh, <laughs> she was popular. That was way back then. <laughs> I remember a band of Gorky Park in the yeah. 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 one, one of the first uh, hard rock bands to come out of Russia. Yeah, yeah, tattoo. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And what about Rookie Work? They uh, now have uh, two wave of uh, the popular. I mean, Rookie Work. Do you know them? No, no idea. No idea. No idea. Sorry. <laughs> Say what was it again? What uh, was the name of the band? Uh, Rookie Work. Hands uh, on top. Okay. Hands on top. Oh, no, really. You should listen to a giant new female singer, 
Dia, because we made songs for her, and she's very, very talented. Dia? Dia. Dia. I don't know what Dia is. You see? You see you how hard it is? You're Russian. <laughs> Um, you uh, in in uh, our interview, you uh, tell that you sometimes celebrate our, uh, some Russian uh, holidays. I mean, uh, uh, old uh, New Year because you perform on these uh, holidays. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, happens, uh, yeah. Do you have a performing on the private party in Russia? Private party. Private party. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, several times. Who is uh, who is it? For for who uh, do you perform on this party? Uh, Russian oligarchs. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Some Gazprom, Sparbank. Then we have you know. companies. Gas yeah. Gazprom. Yeah. yeah. Sparbank. So, Sparbank. Yeah. But just mm -hmm. fans as well. And then yeah. also fans. Yeah. Fans. How often it happened? Well, well in, in in a year maybe. Two, three times, I don't know. Two, three times. Uh, uh, about New Year, New Year holiday or not? No, 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 no it's, it's a different time. Actually, if someone is uh, having a birth, it, it happens. <laughs> yeah. uh, you always sing uh, on that uh, private party only your songs or not? Because I know that in Russian parties, uh, some um, owner of these parties um, ask uh, artists to sing Different songs, uh, not only songs of. No, we all only play our songs. It's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they never uh, ask you sing uh, some something else. No, no, no. 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 You know, no, we're no. going to play tonight more than twenty songs, mm -hmm. and maybe twenty-five is if, if the audience wants some more. And we always have two new songs too, so we have uh, an, enough with songs, own songs. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 To play, and we have two, two new songs. Uh, one song which no one has heard before. This is premiere for this. Song. Oh, yeah, it's the first yeah. time we play. Yeah, the the, mm -hmm. the the first song, the new song is "Go On," and it's it was released in, in, in December. Yeah, in December or something. Uh -huh. Is this something in your style? Yeah, uh, it's your traditional yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. More or less, yes. More or less. And, and, and the absolute new song is "Secret Mission." And it's premiere tonight. It's called Secret Mission. Yeah, by Secret, Secret Service. Service uh, the song Secret Mission. Yes, we're yes. doing the Secret Mission. That's it. What can you tell me about Russian team? I know that you have a Russian wife. Yeah. But you never told uh, how we meet with uh, Yelena. Ah, that's a secret. Secret Mission. <laughs> secret Mission. <laughs> uh, I uh, heard that you. Uh, Tell about this uh, love story in your musical Ten uh, Post uh, Ten of Old Postman. Mm -hmm. I read uh, the brief of this musical. Uh, the story was about that you team uh, meet uh, met Elena in shop. Uh, yeah. Is it true or not? When you want to buy a uh, black caviar, but uh, in the shop <laughs> it's heavens, and uh, she prefer you buy a uh, kilka and vodka. Say yes. Now, <laughs> yes, yes. It's, part, it's really yes, the story yes, of yes, the yes. almost. Part, part of it is really true, and part of it is, is more like a fairy tale for, for the musical. But part of it is true. Uh, what about kilka and vodka or black caviar? Uh, a uh, shop or what, what, uh, is, what is this true? He was buying dog food. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the truth. Uh, what with this uh, musical happen now? Well, um, uh, uh, there, are, there are some interested um, companies who plan to without mm -hmm. talking about performing, but for the moment I don't know. His team has been busy lately with writing the new material, the yeah. new song. Yeah, we will like go on and do a secret songs. mission now. So he's been busy doing elsewhere. So the music mm -hmm. is on hold, you can say, yeah. for, for the moment. Mm -hmm. You will be acting this musical. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the main hero or and other actors. Uh, and Yelena. I, Gilena, I think it's Gilena. Johnny Depp that's going to be you. Johnny Depp is going to be the team. <laughs> or, or I can be Johnny Depp. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing. What can you say about Russian women? Yeah, of course. Russian women is different than uh, very, very, very classy, very uh, self-conscious, and uh, has a lot of uh, uh, beauty, both outside and inside. More than Sweden women. I think equally, <laughs> equally, and sometimes more. Yeah, I think more. I think more. More. Yeah. 
Tim, uh, life with the Russian woman is different than uh, uh, I don't know, Sweden or European woman. I mean, in, in the usual life, uh, maybe Elena cooked your borscht or something else from no, Russia. No, no, yeah. every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's, I, who's cooking? I, I make the I make the food, and, and Elena is sitting uh, with <laughs> and talking, talking <laughs> Russian all the day. So um, for me, it's Russian, 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 Russian. What do you know with Russian? Uh, not so much. Uh, I try, try to learn, but it, it's a difficult language. Minya Sagutin, Ya Compasito. Very good pronunciation, I see. Elena, uh, have a Sweden citizenship. 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 Yes, yes. yes. Uh, you know that Russian citizenship is uh, really trendy now. Many um, popular person uh, like yeah. Steven Seagal yeah. and um, Jeva, Jeva, Jeva. Yes, yes, yeah. they want to be a Russian man. Yeah. What do you think about it? Have you ever think about uh, Russian citizenship? Yes, of course. Oh, I yeah. actually in the world where we live in is crashing to crashing to its ground. Let's go to Russia. Let's go to Russia. <laughs> let's go to Russia. <laughs> let's go to Russia because here it's gonna be safe and it's gonna be, and it's gonna be good. Yeah. And yes, but you go to Peter Pavlovsk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So far, far, far. Yeah. far. <laughs> no, for me, uh, we in Lena, me, we usually live uh, in the winter in, in Spain, and so we. We're not so used any longer with the winter, but except from that, uh, um, for example, the, the the when we when we came to Russia first time, uh, 1980, no 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 2006, uh, it was it was it was a com completely other country than now. Everything has changed so much in Russia. It goes fast in the best best way. In the best way, in a, in a, in a very very good way. Uh, so so uh, everything is modern. Everything is functioning. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, Wi-Fi on all hotels, and and uh, even the food is better than for the 14 years ago. So uh, I think uh, Russia is is uh, is uh, is uh, has gone through a great process. It's gone. It's gone to the progress. Yeah, yeah. And I can think of a Dutch chef in Sochi. That's. Uh, may you uh, tell, uh, tell me uh, a few things about Sweden. We in Russia assume that in Sweden or Norway have uh, so free traditions. I mean, uh, now you uh, in your country popular uh, operation um, for trans transgenders. Yeah. Is it normal so not to, to change your? Uh, family, uh, I always do that. Tomorrow, you know. What do you think about uh, this um, way of uh, society, way like society change? In my opinion, people can be whatever they want. It's not my problem; it's theirs. Mm -hmm. As long as they're not climbing on me, then it's okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, people should, you know, do a transgender operation before they are. 18 years old now of course not. <laughs> but uh, i think that uh, i know that in europe uh, some people yes they can be 40 50 yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's not that's, good that's, that's, that's dangerous that's dangerous, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yes, How, um, is it is, is it popular in, in Sweden or in no, Europe? Not, not, not so popular. No, no, I think no. I think the newspapers in Russia. It's 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 yeah. yeah it's in Russian newspapers and uh, press. Uh, yeah, they they no, always that they is very they, popular. They, 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 it's not we, popular. We, we have never heard about anyone. No. So, so. I, I don't know anyone. No. Really? No, 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 no. 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 So it's it's very, very uncommon. Mm. Except me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Bob. <Baldwin. laughs> I know that you uh, know Russian culture is good. Do you know um, old Russian cinema like uh, Ivan Vasilyevich changed profession? No, no, no. no. I we are want musicians. to watch you a uh, video. In this video, um, we can watch a Sweden ambassador and uh, he something tell uh, for main hero we don't know what he tell oh. can you translate it and uh, can also, it was also the, translate it one of the <laughs> most popular uh, old russian cinema oh.